Hey guys, my name is Ryan Tablada, um, and today I'm going to show you uh, the pack. Hey guys, my name is Ryan Tablada. Today I'm going to show you the package installer that I've created for Laravel 4. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and create a Laravel project with Composer. Let me go ahead and pause this. Laravel install, I'm going to go ahead and cd into that directory. Open it up in Sublime. So usually when you would install a package, you would go into Composer and you would change Composer.json. So you would do like archblada slash traffic signs devmaster or something like that. But then there's another problem that um, Laravel packages also usually have service providers that um, expose. But then there's a problem that Laravel packages often have service providers to expose the package to. But then there's a problem with Laravel packages and that they have service providers to expose the package and all the classes to Laravel and the application. So that is what the Laravel package installer looks to resolve. So first thing that we're going to do, uh, we're going to do a composer require, which is the same as adding something to your composer.json, um, but I just like the syntax a little bit easier running from the command line. And it is going to be package installer. So we're going to go ahead and get that installing. While that's installing, I'm going to go ahead and run run a little uh, test server. I'll pause until this is finished loading. Uh, we do have to add that to our application um, configuration. Luckily, I aim to make that the last one that you have to install. So we're going to go ahead and say... Uh, now one of the things that I liked with Laravel 3 um, that I kind of miss was that it had really cool 404 pages. Um, whoops is great when you're trying to debug things, uh, but especially for production mode and stuff, there's no fallback 404 in Laravel 4. You have to overwrite that yourself. So I created a little package for small projects, um, and we're going to go ahead and install that with the Laravel package installer. So I'm going to call PHP Artisan, and if you watch with PHP Artisan, we now have package install and package require. I'll go ahead and install artablada slash. And that's called traffic signs. Go ahead and get the cutting edge of that. I'll wait for that to finish loading. So loading, if you watch my application folder, or my application configuration, I actually have not added anything to the providers, um, or the aliases, for that matter, other than package installer. But what package installer does is it goes ahead, goes, grabs the package from composer, um, runs all the compilation just like a composer update, and then goes into your application configuration and adds that service provider. So now if I go ahead and refresh, we've got a really cool 404 based on Dale Reese's awesome work. Now if you want to learn a little bit more about package um, package installer. Go ahead and run over to github.com and look under package installer, Artablata package installer. And um, this will actually sh tell you how to install it um, if you want to run, add it to your composer.json the old way, um, or like I said, run that composer require in your bash prompt. Um, also, if you're a developer, I would uh, please ask that when you're creating packages for Laravel, um, that you go ahead and put what is called a provides.json file. 
and I'll show you what that means. So I'm going to go ahead and go into go ahead and go into that uh, my traffic signs package, and there's a provides.json. And what this is is it's going to list um, all the service providers that you're providing, as well as all the aliases. So, and for formatting on that, um, if you look at the package installer repository on GitHub, that shows you how to add aliases as well. Um, so, and then when you have your package available to on Composer, uh, it will go ahead and grab from provides.json and install everything. I hope that you like this. If you want to track a little bit more on what's going on with the package installer and we're trying to uh, we've proposed for this to be added into Laravel 4.1 um, go ahead and look at issue 1578 on the framework and you can read a little bit more into what we've thought of um, how to structure this and everything so guys I hope you have a great day thank you